All right, so me and Eladio, man, we were uh, back to sparring again, and we're trying to like pick up the tempo, but always be smart. Uh, we were talking about the balance. What I like about his MMA background is he keeps me honest, he's aggressive, so it learns me to, teaches me to time the attacks, and then for me, teaching jujitsu, it shows him how to find those patient spots. Well, one of the things where I would say he was winning was when I was trying to get him in a rear naked choke, and I think I had two attempts, two or three attempts, and he escaped all of them, he just would not tap. So with that said, that's a win for him. That's a win for his MMA aggression. The win for me was my adjustment in jujitsu. So my adjustment was go back to an old school move that, that is almost guaranteed to work 100% of the time, depending on the positioning. But the setup is not new because you all do it in jujitsu. So he's on the side. So let's move forward a little bit so we can see a little more. And come down just a little. So generally, we get to this side, and everybody, MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, everybody expects what? The catch, the adjustment, grab the wrist, slide the knee up, roll over, and take the back. And we might as well do it correctly. When you roll, it's not a pull. Just think of the sunrise. Up, over, and we fall right into uh, the strong, uh, the weak side choke. We start working there, triple threat, all that's available. So knowing that, knowing that, I said, okay, I knew, and we did about four 10 minute rounds, and out of the three times, I said he escaped. So I said, I knew he had, I said, I figured, let me see if he's seen this before. So I grab, and I make my setup. Now guys, just another tip, if this hand's out, grab it too. That's another level, right? Another level, because you need this to set out to set what you're going to set up in. So what happens is a lot of people keep their thumbs in and they start to pull right away. But when you get, let's call it the Sergeant Slaughter choke. I take my hand and I move it in the free space. But I got to keep my thumb out to allow this fight to happen to open up the space. I move my hand in and I bring my arm, punch it all the way across. As far as I can get it to my wrist is on the carotid. I want pain and blood choke. I want them both. So this thumb to script allows me to pull a little more and I keep my body weight. Now from here, I'm setting my body weight and I'm starting the pain. He wasn't tapping yet. What I love about this is almost fail proof. I did the same turn and I let his natural body weight come towards me. Now I continue to squeeze. He jumped out and his body weight still hurt. So I keep this, keep this, and I keep turning. Thumb the script to allow that ratchet principle to come in. Let's do it on the other side. So we'll start from here so you can see it the other way. So from the back, it looks like this. So, thumb the script, reach in, grab across. Same setup as an armbar. I sit up and I keep it. I know he wants to jump out. Look at this. I let his own body weight carry it. No matter where he jumps out in, I still have it. This thumb to script allows the pull. This wrist in the neck allows the push. His own body weight is destroying his cause. So I have my partner try it. Yes. So, so again, you, MMA fighter, he ain't giving up for nothing. So that's where your jujitsu has to come in and you have to start thinking with your principles, all right? Thumb to script. Now, I just want you to put your thumb in and just pull. Okay, all right, that's enough. Thumb out and pull. Oh, shoot, <laughs> I almost cursed. <laughs> that right there is crazy, right? Small difference in grips, right? And the other reason why it's thumb less, if your thumb's in, you're committed. So when I try to pull away and create the space, why is this not space being created? Because you're not letting me. See, he has to be smart enough to let me. So, so just enough, play with that space right there. That's gonna allow the fist to come across all the way across my neck with the, and ball your fist up or grab your bicep. Mm -hmm. Now, work that cinch pull. Oh, yeah, I'm already tapping. The veins are popping out of my forearm. But let's say I'm, I'm fighting, right? He slides his knee up. He starts his roll, right? With the pressure coming in, I jump out. Just don't let go. Yes. Very hard to escape. Now, let's not forget to go back in reverse as to what can work. Back down. 
one of the oldest old school moves, and guys don't do it anymore. So I guess it's new all over again. So slide down just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now, so we're here again. So as you all know, you can get here, open up, post, right, wait, grab, and let's not forget the basics, pop out, sit, head down, arm bar, boom, you can do that. Let's not forget the options you have. You're here, boom. One thing I like to do, pop out, step over the head, smash, rip, rip. Just put it behind his back if you're working out with a friend because he knows once he gets behind the back, it's a, it's a wrap, right? Those are other options. The other dirty WWE move is the choke. So everything's setting up the same. An added addition is my body weight. My chest is down. I take my fist, put it in a stroke and start working the same. I get it good in that throat and I start working. Try that one. I, I haven't done that move in years, guys. So it's gonna be fun trying to apply it now that it's back out of the cage. So he puts his fist here, everything, tuck your head. Yes, yes, I'm tapping. All right, so when you got a tough guy, just remember those minor details. And uh, just remember your principles. The biggest thing is you're on top. And this guy, do you want to know a bigger principle about this, guys? Man, I can't, I can't wait to send this to you guys. The biggest principle is my connection. Right here. Because the good thing is he can't turn in, he can't turn out. Let's turn this way. It's difficult for him to turn in, and it's difficult for him to turn out. And I can gauge how fast I want him to move depending on what I want. If I want him to go to his back, go like this, he goes. He goes to his back, goes to his back, oh, oh, I let that happen. Or I can make it difficult to see what I can gather. So it's something to think about. If he goes the other way, if I keep his head bent, it's gonna be difficult. If I let him move slow, look what he's exposing. He comes up to, to his knees, oh great, beautiful. I come here and I'm in and I'm making it work. So make these submissions work for you. I love what we're, what we're learning together. Aggression is good. Aggression is good. But also, the, the patience of jujitsu is also good. So try and both. Thank you. Good work, man.